Every year, right after the draft, free agents get signed. Players that just, for whatever reason, did not get drafted but are still going to get a chance. Some of these players end up having great careers. One guy I can think of that actually reminds me of this new Suns player is Dorian Finney-Smith. Undrafted, but very valuable. And Sundo, we hadn't even finished our stream earlier, and I was getting messages from Tori while he was on stream raving about Jalen Bridges, saying, dude, you guys got the best undrafted free agent. And he went on to say, and once again, Tori doesn't like any players ever, went on to say... He had Jalen Bridges ranked 28th overall in the draft and is confident that he is the best player that the Suns came away with during this two-day draft. I mean, Gabe, when you watch the film, I mean, it, I mean, it's easy to see why Tory would say that. I mean, when you watch the film, this guy is solid. And I mean, a solid ball player. Let's start off with the measurements. 6'6 six, six and three quarters without shoes on with a wingspan of 6'10", Gabe. That is really good in my opinion. The standing reach of 8 feet 9 inches, weighed in at 214 pounds, a standing vertical of 25, and a max vertical of 32. So dude is, he's an athlete. The first thing that stuck out to me about him, and I mean, it wasn't just me looking it up. I saw it all over Twitter. People were saying this guy is a 40 plus percent point shooter. And I even saw a stat that said he was plus 50 percent from the corner, Gabe. Immediately, I love what I hear and see that. That is absolutely lights out for a three point shooter. Same here. Hearing the words over 40 percent, Definitely made my ears perk up. You don't hear that all the time. It's always close to 40%, but over 40%, 50% from the field. And oh yeah, he's also a really good defender, a true 3 and D sharpshooter. And he's not short. He's not undersized. He doesn't have T-Rex arms like Des Bain. So how, how did this happen? How do you get someone that's supposedly so good after the draft, why would someone be available who's questionably better than who you took at 28? It's quite simple and stupid in my eyes. He's 23 years old, Sundo. That's an old man, apparently. So I couldn't care less. I might prefer he be 23 years old. You pointed out to me that he, the two players we drafted, had something in common, which was older, more mature NBA ready players. I love that. And the two reasons why I would point to him being NBA ready is his ability to shoot on the move. That's something that's usually trained at the next level. Not a lot of people come out of college ready to do that. And the fact that he can create his own shot a little bit. This is... Everything you want, but whoops, he's not 19 years old. In my opinion, after watching the tape, that's the only reason he could have dropped is just the fact that he's 23 and a fifth year red shirt senior and GMs are like, well, he's too old. We don't want him. Meanwhile, here in Phoenix, we have championship aspirations. And I do feel that was something that was discussed amongst the scouting team and Matt Ishbia and James Jones that, hey, we want to get ready now guys out of this draft. Players that are mature that we can trust if we need to play them in tough situations. And I think we did that with the first two draft picks. And then this kid right here, Jalen Bridges, just icing on top, right? I honestly believe he will be out of the two-way contract sooner rather than later. And I think that's not going to bode well for a David Roddy or Nas Little. I think... If he progresses this season, it actually makes them expendable. And I think we can include them in a trade in February. And I do think that's that's possibly a more than likely part of the plan. If this kid shows up and shows out, Ryan Dunn shows up and shows out, then David Roddy and Nas Little will for sure be on the block in February for us to make a move. Yeah, it is not often that you get a guy on a two-way as an undrafted free agent that you're this confident will make the roster, and then get a real contract. But that is what this guy has written all over him. The Suns now have a very interesting set of players for the Summer League, so I'm really excited about watching and streaming those. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss the notifications when we go live for those. They are coming up sooner than you think, Sundo. Take off work now.